Happy Sabbath everyone, happy Sabbath. Um, today we're going to be looking at part number two of the pros and cons of online churches versus in-person church. And today we're going to talk about in-person. So what are some of the cons of being in church? Well, um, you're going to have to drive. If you, now if you live, if the, if the church is across from your house, you can just walk. But if you drive, if you live like 10 minutes, 20, 30, an hour from the church, you're going to have to drive to come to church. So that's con number one. Cons number two. Um, that's more like a, an issue you have to deal with. If you are that kind of person who likes things to be done perfectly, meaning dressed very nicely, um, drive great nice car and things like that when you get to church you're gonna be seeing people who don't dress very nicely who you will consider not dressing appropriately for church you're gonna be looking at people's dress cars shoes uh, how they speak do they use proper grammar and now you might be tempted to uh, look down upon them and that's a con because online, they're mostly going to pick up people that are really good at doing things. But now you are in person and there are more people to choose from. And you might be thinking, I hope they don't pick somebody who is not, uh, who doesn't have a bachelor's degree or a master or a PhD or any of that. That's going to be a problem that you're going to have to deal with because in your mind, if you not speaking proper English, let's say for instance, instead of saying you should have gone, they say you should have went, uh, which is improper grammar, but instead of listening to the actual words that they are using, listen to the message instead. So that's a con, but that can be turned into a pro. Why, why I say it can be turned into a pro is because you can say, okay, Lord, uh, let me not be worried about what words they are using but let the, the message that you are trying to present to me come so even if they use bad grammar even if they don't speak the language properly or very well you might look at it as an opportunity to be like you know what they don't speak the language, the language very well but the message is right there and praise God for that so that, that, that's why I said it can be a con, but that can be turned into a pro. But you're going to have to work on that to remove your idea about the person himself or herself. Next pro. Uh, if you were at home and you were just, you know, not paying attention, well, now you're in church, you're going to be paying attention. What does that also mean? That also means now you get the chance to become active. I know there are lots of people that like to go to church just to warm the pews, but now you are at church, you can have the time to be active. Do something small, like pass out the flyers, pass out the bulletin. Um, even if you wanna just stand behind a camera, just to switch left and right, if the person is speaking anything can actually help you to be more active and as you get more comfortable with one thing you can move on to another thing and start getting better at uh, serving God one thing God is not gonna take anyone who is lazy to heaven that's for sure you don't want to work for God on earth you're not gonna be in heaven working for him God does not take lazy people so if you're gonna be in church and in person it is time for you to start um, working for God. Anything you can help to advance God's cause is a good thing to do. So, those are the pros and cons of being in church versus, like last week, online church. I hope to see you guys again. Food for thought.